in this lecture we will discuss about pina call rearrangement let us say we if i have this compound ch3 oh cch3 ch3 oh and if this is treated with h2so4 around 100 degree centigrade this will give CS3 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 plus H2O This reaction is called pinacol rearrangement Basically this is 1 2 diol so you have a diol 2 H group adjacent carbon has 2 H group so this is called 1 2 diol So generally 1 2 diols gives pinacol rearrangement this reactant is also called pinacol and the product is called pinacolone now if you see this reaction a water molecule has lost acid is required some heat is also required this reaction looks like dehydration of alcohol basically this is nothing but dehydration of alcohol if you consider the mechanism of this reaction first step is protonation of oh group we have oh group we have a h plus so in the first step we can protonate so this oxygen has lone pair of electrons so it can take h plus to form a protonated alcohol so we will have a formal charge on oxygen now next step as usual we can remove this h2o because h2o becomes a good leaving group so if i remove h2o molecule so we can break this bond and we can remove one water molecule to make a carbocation now if you see this carbocation is a tertiary carbocation we have also lost one water molecule so this is a 3 degree carbocation the next step is slightly unusual what we do in this case we can shift one alkyl group in this case we have methyl so this is the carbocation now what we are doing we can shift this methyl group to this carbon even though this is a tertiary carbocation why we are shifting we'll discuss COH CS3 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 if you see this carbocation is secondary carbocation that is attached to two carbon atom so this is a two degree carbocation at the first step this step seems to be illogical why one can shift methyl group initially it has 3 degree carbocation that is more stable and 2 degree carbocation is less stable so why one can shift this methyl group this can be explained on the basis of resonance of oh group so if i see this compound 
I can make a resonating a structure of the same carbocation OH CH3 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 if I give this lone pair here now we'll have resonating a structure C double bond OH so these two are resonating structures now this resonating structure is very stable and the reason is in this case each atom has its octet complete carbon has its octet oxygen also has its octet only demerit is oxygen has a plus charge since the octet is the major factor so a stability of this resonating structure basically governs this step so driving force for methyl migration is a stability of this resonating structure so this resonating structure is very stable so we can say a stability of let us call this as a one resonating structure is the driving force for alkyl migration in this case we have methyl methyl shift now next step is very easy now we can write this resonating structure because this is most stable So oxygen has a positive charge CS3 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 now H plus is used as a catalyst so first step we have used one H plus in the last step we will release one H plus so if I release this H plus we will have CS3 so this is the final rearranged product that is pinacolone So if you see mechanism of this reaction basically involves first step we have to generate the most stable carbocation and then we have to do rearrangement so what are the important point important point is first generate most stable carbocation then you rearrange rearrange the carbocation and the last step we have to lose H plus last step will be loss of H plus now let us say if I have in this case my diol is symmetrical that is both side we have CS3 CS3 so this is a case of symmetrical diol if I have unsymmetrical diol now this is a case of unsymmetrical diol this side we have two methyl group and this side we have two phenyl group now if I do pinacolone rearrangement that is H2SO4 heat now what will be the product in this case first we have to make the most stable carbocation I can lose H2O from here I can lose H2O from here if I lose from here I will get a carbocation and if I lose from here I will get a carbocation that is stabilized by the benzene ring so most stable carbocation I will get if I lose this H2O group so I can say at the first step this carbocation will be formed
OH. Now in the next step we have to have a methyl migration. So this methyl group will migrate to this carbon. So we will have PH, CPH, ME, C plus carbocation, O, H. Now this uh, structure will have one resonating uh, structure. This lone pair goes here. So we will have PH, CPH, ME, C double bond OH. Oxygen will have a positive charge, ME. Next step we can lose one H plus to get the final product. In this case we will have PHC, PH, PH, C double bond O, ME. So this will be the pinacolone. So final product is pinacolone. And the initial is 1 to diol that is called pinacol. Sometimes this reaction is called pinacol pinacolone rearrangement. 